Acetic acid can lower the output of insulin. Acetic acid also improves insulin resistance. Insulin is the hormone that tells your body to store food you have just eaten as fat. Insulin is also the hormone that tells your body not to use stored fat reserves for energy. Ultimately, insulin causes you to gain weight and is the hormone most people want to control for healthy weight. Apple cider vinegar is basically acetic acid and can be consumed as a liquid or even a pill. The best time to take apple cider vinegar is in the morning and again in the evening, possibly with a meal. Even though apple cider vinegar does not have any direct life extending properties, it still gets a mention here because it assists with balancing your blood pH levels and lowers insulin. Let's look at some of the common age-related conditions that can occur in people over 50. The pH of acetic acid is around 2.5. This is close to the stomach acid pH levels. You can take acetic acid for heartburn, acid reflux, because as you age, your stomach becomes more alkaline. To balance the alkaline, you need more acid after 50 to be able to absorb minerals such as calcium and even digest protein. When your pH level is too alkaline, you can no longer absorb calcium or minerals as effectively as you once did. Older people develop more kidney stones, soft tissue calcification, cataracts, more arthritis, more gallstones, bursitis, tartar on the teeth, body stiffening, their skin is thickening, this is calcification, and maybe, and usually is, the result of your body's alkaline levels being too high, known as alkalosis. These are age-related conditions, and the magic pill, if it's alkalosis causing those conditions, is maintaining a healthy pH state with apple cider vinegar or acetic acid. Guanidine is a byproduct from eating too much protein. Guanidine is very alkaline and can cause nerve pain, arthritis, eye twitching, etc. So acetic acid or apple cider vinegar is a great maintenance tool for keeping your body younger. Because acetic acid can assist with lowering your insulin output, taking it means you are less likely to store food as fat or put weight on and you are more likely to use fat reserves as energy, which means you are burning fat. Apple cider vinegar as a pill or a liquid should become part of your anti-aging toolkit. So let's rehash what conditions come from alkalosis. And that is kidney stones, soft tissue calcification, cataracts, arthritis, gallstones, bursitis, tartar on the teeth, stiff body, skin thickening. Not good. So we've talked about the stress hormone cortisol. Well, guess what hormone promotes alkalosis? Cortisol does. So unless those age-related conditions I've just mentioned appeal to you, this is all the more reason to ensure stressful people and environments are no longer part of your life. Alkalosis and cortisol speed up aging. Being stress-free and less alkaline are two powerful ways to fend off aging. However, because what you put in your mouth influences the science of your body so much, we cannot teach or show you how to stay young without very briefly covering the topics of weight management and diet. Weight loss is 95% done in the kitchen, simply by selecting the right foods, the right portions, and the right time to eat. I don't eat before lunchtime or after 6 p.m. So I fast for 18 hours each day. We have entered an era in human evolution where we can now control the incredibly complicated science that causes us to age. So why aren't pharmaceutical companies or governments teaching us this type of knowledge at school or on television? Well, pharmaceutical companies do not make money by keeping you young and healthy. Most people in positions of power have maybe very little knowledge about longevity science, which is fair enough because it's very new. New concepts that, 
that do not bring votes or really political election are, are really political election issues, which is why progress can be fantastically slow in governments when it comes to health technologies. We need to constantly self-educate, period. If you'd like to learn more about the science of aging, visit my website, www.scienceofaging.life, subscribe and do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button. It really helps with the YouTube al algorithm. And if you choose not to subscribe, then you'll have to face the consequences of your own actions. Until then, stay young and stay vibrant.